Right now, Old Dominion University is partially open. The campus was shut down all day because of a bomb threat. School officials say ODU police gave the all clear late this afternoon. All classes and activities remain canceled the rest of today. Normal operations will resume tomorrow. 13 News Now reporter Adriana de Alba has more from campus. Tonight, things are slowly going back to normal here at ODU. Buildings are now open and students are no longer being asked to stay in their dorms. But today's shutdown of the entire campus led to a lot of confusion. It was an unexpected shutdown at Old Dominion University. An anonymous bomb threat made early this morning, leading ODU police to shut down the entire university and increase police presence, catching students like Shantaria Davis off guard. I was just walking to class. Um, I was unaware of, of any issue until I got to the building. I saw that there was like no one on campus and I thought it was kind of weird. And then I saw, you know, the truck and the police. So I thought I should look it up. And then I saw that I got an email. An email and social media alerts notifying students of a campus wide shutdown. By 4 p.m. students were given the clear to return back to normal. But all classes and events remain canceled for the day. Wow, that, that's my only reaction. I think it's actually kind of weird. Um, mm -hmm. Because you think that bomb threats, you think it wouldn't happen to you until it does. Students not only concerned about the threat, but for basic everyday needs, such as food. I, I thought they'd at least have to feed the students. Those stuck in their dorms had no way of getting food, so they took to social media, voicing frustrations and demanding answers from the university. University Dining later arranged to have food delivered to student dorms, and ODU standing by its decision to shut down for the day, stating, quote, the safety of our campus community comes first, and in this day and age, we will take any and all threats seriously. Classes and all scheduled events will begin again tomorrow. In Norfolk, Adriana de Alba, 13 News Now.